the annual Caribbean Expanded Program on Immunization, or EPI, Managers Meeting was first held in the 1970s based on the realization of the importance of immunization. At these meetings, the managers and surveillance officers come together to effectively plan, prepare, and execute activities to improve vaccine coverage in their respective countries. It is important that we meet with the managers of the national immunization programs you know, annually so that we can all speak about what has happened in our countries in the last year, what are the challenges we have faced, what, what are some of the, the interventions we have made that has really improved our programs and, and how we can help each other, assist and support each other so that all of our programs are strengthened, whether it, in terms of coverage of our vaccines, whether in terms of, of, of surveillance for vaccine preventable diseases, this program is strengthened from the ground in terms of the health centers to the top in terms of policy making. Though some gains were reversed in immunization coverage before and certainly during the pandemic, in 2022, gains were made due to the prioritization of immunization through the life course. We're also getting new vaccines for instance, we now have a vaccine that can prevent 90% of cases of cancer of the cervix, the human papilloma virus vaccine. It is superb. One dose can make all the difference. Henry Smith was the first PAHO immunization manager in 1977. He functioned out of the Caribbean Epidemiological Center in Trinidad and Tobago. He emphasized that the same fervor utilized to eliminate smallpox needed to be placed on other communicable diseases. The Henry C. Smith Immunization Award was established in 2004 in his honor. They also have to be motivated that if you don't have the disease, it can come in again. Disease can be transmitted that way. So we should not lie on our laurels and thinking that we are safe until, because if one spark comes in, it can start a fire, especially I noted that the immunization coverage is low. So where people are not vaccinated, the virus sometimes is smart, it gets into that group and spreads a little um, epidemic again, and it's difficult to control. We just, we just keep doing what, what we know we are supposed to do, uh, catch up campaigns, follow-up campaigns. Uh, we begin offering vaccination after hours during our extended hours clinic. So that clinic runs from 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. And so on maybe about three days out of the week, there's a public health nurse who, who works in that clinic. And during that time, she would call anybody who missed their appointment. The EPI managers are using evidence-based strategies to improve vaccination coverage. If we look at the history, even in our Caribbean, it's after the immunization program came in, after vaccination came in, that we saw a drastic decline in the number of new cases of measles, the deaths from measles, deaths from tetanus, you know, deaths from polio, deaths from diphtheria, deaths from whooping cough. And as public health practitioners, we do not willfully try to harm our population. Public health is about protecting the health and well-being of individuals and more importantly of populations. 